Now I'd like to put another diamond in the middle to make this even more interesting. So the easiest way to do that is to, I'm going to zoom out and do it side by side. So I'm going to escape out of the zoom tool and I'm going to paste another copy. And I'm going to drag this up here. And I'm going to line it up on the grid lines again. And I'm going to ungroup this one. So just come down here to your group icon and you can see that the option to ungroup is available. So ungroup that. And select the last two. So select one, hold down your shift key and select the one next to it. Or you could, if they're not next to each other, you can hold down to your control um, to select more than one item. I want these last two selected and we'll delete those. So now I've got a smaller stepping pattern, only nine blocks long. I'm going to regroup that, so I can't use Edit Select All or it'll select my d other diamonds as well, so I need to use my um, Block Select and group that together. And copy that one, paste it, rotate it, so it's the same procedure all over again, and build up your diamond. So paste another one, rotate it, hard anger is a very geometric pattern. <laughs> and paste the last one. And of course you can always use, if you don't get it quite lined up, you can always use the um, um, arrows on your keyboard to nudge it into place. See how I kept turning that round so that this jump stitch is going to be in the right place. It'll in fact disappear. Now I can Just got that right. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is select the diamond, large diamond, with my box. Well, we can use the polygon select if we like. It's just as quick. Enter. So I've left clicked around the design. Enter. And that's selected that diamond. And we're going to group that as one. And now I'm going to click off that and select this diamond. Enter and group that one as one. And now while that's selected I'm going to hold down my control key and select the other diamond. And I'm going to come down to my alignment tools and come along to the Align Centers and left click. And now you can see that we've got a lovely diamond here, double diamond, which is really quite attractive. Okay, let's have a look at that in um, Artistic View. So I'll click off it and so you could put um, a monogram in the center of that, you can put some star shapes or other geometrical shapes. Just as I said, have a look at some pictures of hard anger and see the sorts of things you could create to go in there. Um, we haven't quite finished yet though. We need to organize that um, tie and tie off. Now in the webinar, I mucked this up. So for those of you who saw the webinar, here's the answer to how you do the tie in tie off um, and so I'm going to go back to out of artistic view and zoom into the start and end of the whole design now I need to ungroup everything because if I select now the outside diamonds all grouped I need to ungroup that because I want to actually just select the first and last block of the design. This is the first block, as you can see, it starts stitching here, stitches down and goes on. And this is the last block of the design here because it ends stitching here. We can tell that by our circle and our cross. So this is the one I want first and I need a tie-in at the beginning of the design.
So I'm going to ungroup. Now if I select this one I'm going to get that whole line selected because that was grouped as one as well so I need to ungroup that as well. Come down, ungroup and now I can select this one here. Now I'm going to zoom in so I can show you. First I'm going to arrange the start in the centre of the design to get rid of that circle out of the way for us. Arrange, start and end and I'll put them both at the centre just for the moment so that I can um, I'll leave the auto, I'll leave the end one just for a moment. Okay, so that circle's gone now. We'll zoom into there and we can see exactly what's going on. Okay, so this dotted line is the jump stitch coming from the center where it starts the design. And if I go view needle points, you'll see that it does one needle point there and then goes on to do, there's no little ones next to each other which indicates a tie in. Now while this one single block is selected I'm going to right click and go to my tie in off and I'm going to just select the tie in before the object on and apply. And now you can see that I've got these extra needle points here. This is actually the tie in. Um, the method I'm using is this method here. It's not actually allowing me to select that at the moment because I haven't got my tie off. Um, but it's defaulting to that straight follow the, the original line type tie in. So that's sorted out the tie in. So go OK. Now I'm going to zoom back out again. OK escape out of that. Remember this was the last block and see we're ending here. Now I'll get rid of that cross out of the way as well too by arrange, end, start and end, auto end at the center as well just for the moment. Okay and zoom in. This is the block we're zooming into. If you forget which one started and ended then um, just use your slow redraw or um, your editing function to get through the design till you get to the end. I'm going to select this one and of course I've got um, other parts of the design selected because it's still this inner inner diamond was is still grouped so let's ungroup that. Let's select it again and I've still got this one selected as well because that line was grouped so we'll ungroup that, select it again. Now I've just got the block, this one block selected. Right click, tie in, tie off and this time we're going to tie off after this object. We're going to turn that one on. We're not, we're not tying in be at the beginning because we're coming straight from this block into this block but then we want to tie off at the end. So apply that and we've got some extra needle points there too now and go OK. Alright, now I like to leave the start of the design in the center but I like to have the end of the design um, on the last stitch. The reason I leave the start in the center is because um, I convert to other brands, or other formats for other machines and a lot of the other machines actually center the design in the hoop from the first stitch of the design so if it's not in the center it won't go in the hoop and won't be read by the machine. So out of habit I arrange my start and end with the start in the center and the end on the last stitch of the design and go OK. Show all. Okay, now in I've gone pretty quickly through that because the people in the webinar saw it already. Um, arrange, I might just go artistic view. It's a bit nicer. And they could ask questions as I went along as well, but I for the repeat and because um, YouTube videos can only be 10 minutes long and so I'll have to make this into several parts anyway. I've been a bit fast with this but if you want to do these bigger projects with me um, by all means come to my webinars.